Hello Digital DJ Tips family, it's Phil in the studio, it is 3pm in London, it is 11am, an hour later than normal in uh, Eastern because of the way the clocks are going at the moment and that makes it Thursday Q&A Live, our regular Thursday show where we open our channels, Facebook, YouTube and Twitch live to all of you to ask questions, to get help in your DJing. We are Digital DJ Tips, the biggest DJ school in the world and we do this every week. This week's a special one though, as you probably guessed by looking at the intro slide, we have got a brand new DJ course, which has just literally launched this second. We push the button as we push the button on this live. It is called Mixing for Mobile and Wedding DJs. You know what music to play, mobile and wedding DJs. Now let us show you how to mix it. It's designed especially for mobile DJs and this is a world first. There is no mixing course out there that is designed for mobile and wedding DJs. So in today's live show I'm going to tell you about this course, I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside it, we're going to talk about how it works, who it's for and take your questions on it but also we'll talk about the wider picture of being a mobile DJ, being a wedding DJ, being an event DJ, a corporate DJ, playing birthday parties, playing weddings and all that kind of thing and what's required of you as a DJ nowadays in those environments and how it's changing because it is changing and that's what was the impetus for making this course in the first place. Now I have to tell you right up front this has just launched and therefore there is a really really cool opening offer on it uh, but you have to get in early in order to get it so let's have a look at the page that you will go to to buy this course right now and why you need to get it now if it's something that is of interest to you. So we already looked at it, there's a video which you need to watch when you head through to the link I'm going to tell you in a minute and if you buy this course now you save $100 on its usual price. Its usual price is going to be the price you will pay this time next week. So you, you literally have a week to get in and save $100 and get it for the uh, single one-off payment. It's then yours for life and you lock in that big saving. So that's the first thing you need to know. Uh, if you want this course, lock in the saving, grab it within the next week. Of course, if you're a Digital DJ Tips course owner already, you know the score on that. Now, how do you get to this page we're looking at now? Uh, really simple, just go to the URL I'm about to tell you, uh, djtips.co djtips.co slash new. That's djtips.co slash new. But you can also get to it from the Digital DJ Tips website. It's probably the easier way of getting to it. So head over to Digital DJ Tips. I'm going to refresh this page because I'm not joking. We literally went live with this in the last five minutes. So if I refresh the page, whoa, there we go. There's a big mixing for mobile and wedding DJs banner. You can click on there and that's going to take you right through to the page that we were just looking at where you can find out more about the course and buy it. Uh, this will explain what it's for, how it works, uh, who it's for and break down all the modules that are in the course. I'll talk to you a bit about those in a minute uh, and also give you the offer and explain to you exactly uh, how it all works, especially if you're new to Digital DJ Tips. You're not just joining a video course, it's far more than that. There's community, there's live lessons and so on. So all your questions are answered on this page to help you make your mind up. Also comments from our existing students as well to show you what it's like being a Digital DJ Tips. Student, listen, I have to say a massive thank you to my team, to everyone here at Digital DJ Tips, Steve, Pammy, Faye, Ben, Lauren, the, the web team over at SoTech have worked really, really hard to get this live because what you guys and girls don't see is that the training platform that I'm going to show you in a minute, we're going to have a sneak peek inside this course. The training platform has had all kinds of improvements, speed improvements, you, you know, little things like you can now put your pictures and your smiley faces and stuff in the comments when you're chatting to us and all that stuff that just has to happen in the background. It's all been rolling out this week because we thought why not roll out a massive change to all of our uh, systems and all of our student features at the same time as launching a big DJ course. We thought that might be a really good idea uh, but no I do have to say a massive thank you to the team because we've been working really um, dawn to dusk on this for, for the last week. Um, the course actually came about about six months ago when we started working on it, but I'll tell you all about that in a little while. Uh, so, I kind of want to talk to you about this, you know, this is the first time we've got this out into the wild and I really want to talk to you as our students about this, what you think of it, so please jump in on the chat 
Um, we are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. This is what it's all about now. It's about you. Uh, I want to <laughs> I want to hear what you think. I want your questions um, on being a mobile DJ and having to mix music nowadays, uh, but also on this course as well. So this is a, so let's do that. Let's just start off by, by chatting to you. Midnight Wolf says, as a wedding and mobile DJ, it's really hard to keep up. Music, gear, and other things are changing so fast that I just cannot keep up. I don't know how I'm being successful. Well, at least you are Midnight Wolf, so good on you. Um, but look, it is difficult as well to keep up with the way things change, things do change quickly. But you know, one of the things about mobile DJing, which I'm sure you know, Midnight Wolf, is the music doesn't really change that fast because there's only half a dozen really big records every year, right, that stand the test of time. So, really, yes, mobile DJs carry a broad amount of music, but it's only the very, very biggest records. And that actually brings me really nicely on to talking to you about how mixing for mobile and wedding DJs, the brand new course that we've just launched with this $100 saving works. So this is how it, how it all kind of like uh, uh, works for you as a DJ that wants to learn to do this. And I guess we need to start by saying why? Why do you need to learn to mix music as a mobile DJ? Isn't it just okay to, you know, play your songs and then mix into the next song and maybe jump on the microphone and say something? And, you know, why, why is this suddenly there's this big push about mixing? And if you think about it, it's because the people you're playing to were brought up with DJs. They were brought up with EDM and festivals. They were brought up in an age when they were teenagers, DJing was suddenly mainstream, it was suddenly global, it suddenly became a, a big thing. And so they don't want to book DJs for their weddings, for their corporate events, for their 30th, 40th, 50th birthday parties, who can't mix. Because they've had an experience of what it's like to have a DJ mixing music at every stage of their lives up to then. So. As mobile, wedding and event DJs, we have to keep up with that stuff. So that's the main reason here. And so the way the course works is like this. In fact, should we look inside it? Because no one's seen inside this at all. Shall we look inside it? Uh, I've been dying to do this for so long. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you inside the actual course itself. Um, when you join this course, this is what you see. This is our Digital DJ Tips member portal. Uh, and I am a member of all our courses. Well, I would be, wouldn't I? Uh, so you're gonna click on your Mixing for Mobile and Wedding DJs course. And this is exactly what you see inside our courses and this course in particular. You have an intro video where I explain to you what you do next and you can collapse that intro video. Uh, and it actually, that button actually works. That's the first time that's worked for me as an administrator of this course. It works for students, but it's never worked for me as an admin until now. I told you that they've been fixing things. So you hide that after you've started because you don't need that anymore. And then you see your modules and here they are. So we've got a module on getting prepared. And in this module, you get ready to do this kind of mixing. We actually talked about this on Tuesday. You remember on Tuesday, were you here for our live show on Tuesday? We were talking about what mixing DJs do to get ready to play in front of crowds, right? What you need to do to your music in order to be able to do the kind of mixing that we're talking about here. That's covered here. And we talk about beat gridding and hot cues and mix loops and key mixing and mini sets. So this is designed to help you get yourself ready for what comes next. So once you've got prepared, you learn what we call basic tricks and techniques. So in this module, this is all about the stuff that once you know it, you can mix anything into anything. Really, you can. Once you know this stuff, you can do that stuff. When you're on YouTube and people are saying, you know, you need to be able to mix and you need to be able to quick mix as a mobile DJ and they never tell you how to do it, that's what this is all about. This is the stuff that will teach you how to do that. So we start off with a couple of basic lessons for people who are really new to this about counting and beat mixing and so on. And then move into the techniques, simple cut, offset cut, uh, vinyl techniques, uh, cues, uh, and reverbs and echoes. And then there's a very, very special cheat sheet at the end uh, where you can download this one. And this is the thing that's gonna help you to do this in your own DJing. So this is a really, uh, a really unique module. This doesn't exist anywhere else. I mean, this whole course doesn't exist anywhere else. No one's made a course to teach mobile wedding event DJs how to DJ using the biggest music in the world and the radio versions as well. We use the radio versions, the ones you hear on the radio, the ones you hear on your Spotify playlist. You don't have to go and join download pools and get 
versions of the music that's been specially made for DJs or any of that lame stuff, just grab the version that you hear on the radio, we'll show you how to mix with it. It's another really big thing about this course. And this module here shows you how to do that. And honestly, by the end of this module, you'll be able to mix from everything into everything in your collection. You could stop learning there, and this course would have done its job for you. But in a way, the course is only just beginning once you reach that point. Because the next, there's kind of four big parts to this course, and we've just covered two of them, preparing your music and the basic techniques, or the, the foundation techniques. The next sections, are where it gets really, really exciting for mobile and wedding and event DJs who, let's face it, you buy a course like this, you want immediate results. You want to be changing your DJing at your next gig. You want to be getting people noticing you more and you know asking for you by name for their next gig because you did something cool. Next gig, not in six months time. That's where this gets really interesting because this course then moves on to giving you 31 done for you mixes and transitions. So look at this, we've got quick mixes, creative beat mixes, BPM and genre switches, word plays and other tricks, mixing with ballads and sing-alongs. You ain't gonna find this stuff anywhere else, trust me. And done for you full routines. So let's just click into one of these. Remember there's like 31 of these. Let's click into one of these, the done for you routines. So what you can see here is how it works. And you can see the kind of stuff you get. There's a, there's, they've all got names, the blatant rip-off transition, the baseline hook drop swap, the keep granddad happy mashup. I mean, come on, who's not gonna to wanna to know what that's about? The one they're singing tease, the super freaky swap, sample swap. These are all using the biggest tunes in the world. Because another thing about mobile DJ, and we started with it, didn't we? You know, you know, the tunes don't change very much. A huge record today is gonna to be a huge record in 10 years time when it comes to playing them on wedding dance floors. So this is using those records, those tracks. So you can take these now and you can use these next week, next month, next year, five years time. These are timeless. And the way it works is this. Let's click into one of them. Let's click into the blatant rip-off transition. Uh, so you, you get a video where the technique is explained by the tutor. It could be me or it could be Steve. Uh, and then you get a set of extra videos where we show you the routine itself so you can watch it over and over again until you get it right. You have a downloadable sheet which will have all the cue points on it. It will explain how you have to have your gear set up for that particular transition. And the idea is you learn that transition, you put those two tunes or three tunes or however many tunes we use in your collection and you put the cue points where we say and you set it all up and you practice it a couple of times and then at your next gig when you play that first tune, you've got something really clever to do to move into the next tune. Uh, and by the way, this works on all types of DJ gear. I've got the brand new Denon DJ SC Live 4 here. Uh, it works on all DJ gear, all DJ systems, Serato, Rekordbox, whatever you're using, Tractor, Denon DJ's engine, and it works whatever kind of DJing you're doing now. It's a formula. You don't have to be a musician. You don't have to have like, you know, we've got you have to have a pioneer set up to do this stuff. You just need any old DJ controller and any old version of the songs because we show you how to do it with the stuff you've already got. You just follow what we say and these 31 done for you transitions will then be usable instantly in your DJ. Take them and use them. And the fourth part of this course, the fourth way this course works is that once you've kind of like mastered a few of those, you're gonna to wanna to get, get using them in your DJing, right? So the way it works then is that you go to the final module and the final module is called Now Do It. And in Now Do It, we show you how to implement this and we show you how to find your own mix ideas in your own music. So this is important, this is twofold the way this works. So firstly, we'll show you how to implement it. So you turn up at your next gig, you wanna do this stuff, you've taken a few of the, uh, a few of the lessons in here, you're gonna be pretty scared, right? So we'll talk you through that. We'll give you a process by, whereby you can start doing this in your gig slowly and smoothly so it doesn't freak you out. And then we'll also talk you through how to find your own quick mixing, clever BPM changes, word plays and so on in your own music collection. And that's where it kind of circles back to the beginning. That's where it makes all the learning yours because from then on in, it's like learning a language, right? Once you know the language, you don't need a dictionary. And you can put the course aside then once you've got to that point and it will be in you and you'll be spotting this stuff in your own library and you'll have transitioned to this kind of DJing. So that's kind of how the course works. It's just fun. It's fun to be able to mix with the tracks that people know. 
uh, and just the simple radio versions, the simple versions that you see on Spotify, the ones you can buy. That's what this is all about. It's about the big tunes. It's a very non-intimidating approach and it's great if you're afraid to start this stuff. You don't want to join download pools and find special versions of tunes. And, and also, if you just want to mix pop music that people will actually know and they'll say, I know this and, and he or she just did something really cool with it, right? If that's what interests you, that's going to be you for this course. So it's for you if you're a mobile DJ who knows you want to up your game. It's for you if you want to switch to mobile DJ. Maybe you're a club DJ and you want to switch to this kind of DJ, it's going to help you. But also, if you just want some fun new mixes that you can try out and have fun with. Uh, right, so that's what it's about. Uh, as I've been saying all the way through, we just literally put this course live right this second. It went live minutes ago. Uh, and uh, you can get to this page where you can learn all about it on the Digital DJ Tips website. Now you can either go to djtips.co slash new, uh, or just head to the Digital DJ Tips website, and on the website you will see uh, this big banner here. Mixing for mobile and wedding DJs. Click on there and it'll take you through to there. Uh, now, I thank you for staying with me as I've talked about this. It was important to get this information out to you because it's a brand new course. It's a hundred dollar saving. It's only for the next, well, less than a week now. That's going to go away. So you're going to have to have a think about this and have a look at that page. But really the important part about today's live show is I want to talk to you about it. So we're going to stop my, my spiel now. We're going to move over to what you've got to say. Uh, you don't like my music. Hello, my friend says, that's what weddings are all about. They want to hear the songs they know. They don't want to be taken to school. Look, you're so right there. This kind of DJing, mobile DJing, event DJing is not about education because it's not about you. It's about them. I can hear Jazzy Jeff saying this because that's his whole philosophy as well. It's not about you. It's about them. It's about triggering their memories, giving them amazing experiences together that they'll remember with the music that they, the music of their lives. And so if you are trying to educate an audience at a wedding or a mobile DJ event or a birthday party or a corporate event, an office Christmas party, you are in the wrong place, my friend. This course, Mixing for Wedding and Mobile DJs, is for you if you want to play the music they know, but you want to mix it like the club DJs do because that's what they also expect. That's why it's totally new. And so thank you very much, You Don't Like My Music, for pointing that out. You said it better than me. Um, and you also say something which kind of gets me angry, which is people laugh at wedding DJs and it is the hardest job in the world. I, I defy you as a club DJ to go and play a wedding and not come back and tell me that was hard because playing to multi-generations and getting everyone together is much harder than playing to a crowd who come for the kind of music you're playing and possibly for you. It's much harder, but it can be much more fulfilling as well. Um, right. This is really exciting, people. Again, I've just got to thank, I feel exhausted. It's been such a hard week getting ready for this. But honestly, let me tell you the history of this. Let me tell you how this came about. We did a course with my really good friend, Jason Janai, who is a superstar wedding DJ in the US. He's played like Beyond for Beyonce's parties. He's played Super Bowl after parties and celebrity weddings and stuff. Jason is right up there. And we did a business course, how to make loads of money as a wedding DJ, right? That's, it was a few years ago, COVID came, bang, smashed that one out of the park. We, we, we couldn't, uh, couldn't use that one anymore for a while. It's coming back, by the way. But anyway, I, I'm going off. At that point, people started saying, yeah, but I want to know how to mix that music. I want to know how to mix that kind of music because Jason's really good at it, but we didn't teach that in that course. It wasn't what it was about. And then at that point, we thought we ought to make a course that teaches people how to mix that kind of music. And we, Steve and I love doing this kind of thing anyway. And then COVID hit. And this was really weird because what happened when COVID hit was all the big DJs who we know and love, the Jazzy Jeffs, the DJ Angelos, laid back Luke, James Hype, they were suddenly sat at home. They had no gigs. And so we went, hang on a second, if we can get to them, if we can get to where they are with some cameras and lock them down for a week, we could make some DJ courses here, which is why since 2020, you've seen DJ courses from James Hype, Layback Luke, DJ Angelo, Jazzy Jeff, from Digital DJ Tips. It's been a game changer for us and for them because they always wanted to do that, but they never had time. And now they're back to the grind and, and they couldn't do it now. You know, so we took that opportunity to make those things. But we parked this idea 
of making a course and half of our audience are mobile wedding and event DJs, we parked that idea and it sat there festering away and we kept thinking about it. And then earlier this year, we said, it's time. It's time to do this. And we spent the last six months making it and that's why it's the biggest course we've ever made because it's been gestating for years and it's taken us many, many months to get to the point where we're ready to launch it for you. The biggest course we have ever made on our own for you. So it's almost like a residence night at a club, right? We've had lots of guest DJs on at our club over the last few weeks, but this is a residence night and this is us with what you've been asking us for. So that's the history of it, um, right? Um, so what else are you saying about DJing as a wedding or mobile DJ? Um, so um, I'm a producer and DJ, but I don't look down on wedding DJs. Now I know, I know that a lot of you don't. You know, you're the best of the best, our community. You know that DJing is a broad, ch broad church, so thanks for that. Tim on Facebook, can your, can your course teach an old dog new tricks? Uh, more than that, Tim, it's designed for the old dogs who know they need to learn new tricks. Because fading those tunes out and mumbling into the microphone with the greatest of respect is not going to cut it anymore. So that's exactly who it's for. DJ Chocolate says, sign me up. Um, so, um, bread and butter work. It's where the money is. Of course it is. And a lot of DJs, a lot of DJs make their money playing mobile, wedding, event, corporate gigs. And... On the side, it's almost like they scratch that itch of playing underground music, producing tunes, playing cool little clubs. They never make any money from it. The money comes from the bread and butter gigs. Uh, and the bread and butter gigs can be done properly if you know how to. And that's what this course is about. Paul says, I just purchased the course. Um, so thank you, Paul. Um, I would only do it if it's a techno wedding, says Simon. Well, yeah, cool. If you're not into this, you're not into it. Um, but here's another thing. And this is funny because it's true. Like, give me some, give me some love in the comments if you, if, you, if you know this to be true. As soon as your friends and family find out that you're a DJ, especially when you get into DJing, right? You've been clubbing, you've been, you know, you've been won over by, by house music or techno or trance or whatever. You got into it and you think, oh, I've got to start DJing. You know, this is cool. You buy some kit, you start DJing. As soon as they find out you're a DJ, what do they do? What do they do? They ask you to DJ, don't they? Oh, you're a DJ, can you play my wedding or birthday party or, oh, we're having a Christmas party at the office. You're a DJ, can you do it? Or you're working at a company where they all know you're a DJ and they're like, oh, they'll DJ for us. What do you do? Well, if you are Simon, you say, no, I won't do it unless I can play techno. But I'm gonna guess most of you watching this have been there and you know what you do. You say, yeah, I'll do it. And then you immediately think, why did I say that? And then you spend the next six weeks or however long thinking, what, why did I do that? And you're buying and downloading all the music that you know you've got to play, the pop and the classic hip hop and the oldies and the disco and the funk and the soul and the, and the dance, big dance classics and all the stuff that you know that they're gonna wanna hear. And then you're sat there thinking, how am I gonna mix this? That's what this course is for. It's to get you through that, how am I gonna mix this? feeling. And so it is what happens when you are a DJ. You are asked to DJ and they don't know that you're into minimal techno. They don't know that your thing is really UK garage circa 1994. They just want you to play their party. And frankly, a lot of DJs think, I should be able to do that. I should be able to do that. And you know what? I'm going to. And if that's you, that's who this is for. Uh, right, what are you saying? We're talking about mobile and wedding and event DJing. We're talking about why it's important to mix nowadays at those events because frankly, the crowds expect you to in 2022. And the reason we're talking about all of that stuff is that we've just launched our brand new course, which is called Mixing for Mobile and Wedding DJs. It's live. Go to the Digital DJ Tips website, click on that big F off banner there, and you will go through to the page that tells you all about the course. There's a video there where we show you loads of demo mixing mixes of the kind of thing you'll learn. And this page also explains to you everything you need to know about it, who it's for, how it works, what the modules look like, uh, and uh, what you get, the price, $100 off just, just for a short while. There's a done for you selection of mixes, and we even give you a Tidal playlist, uh, which should be coming on BeatSource as well pretty soon when we can port it over, um, so that you can grab all the music as well. We actually made the whole course on streaming services, believe it or not. We wouldn't uh, advise you to use them 
exclusively in your DJing, but we made the whole course using them, so they're getting their streaming services. Also, all the big questions. What will I get from it? Will it work with my gear? What kind of music does it use? Is it for me if I'm new to DJing? Do I get the music? Uh, why do you use radio versions? Is this gonna be suitable for my kind of DJing? They don't want quick mixing where I DJ, um, and all that stuff. Uh, and you can also, if you're brand new to Digital DJ Tips, see what our students say about our mixing training there. We've got lots and lots of clips from our, um, from our training platform. Uh, so that's what, you, uh, what you'll see when you click through to that link. Do come and have a look at this. Uh, but as I said, this is the first time we've been able to talk about this in public. Um, we've been teasing it, but we haven't been able to show it to you. So I want to hear what you think. And I want your questions about DJing properly, if you like, uh, as a mobile or wedding DJ. And there's loads and loads of them coming in uh, here. Charlie says, I really love the consideration from you all. Thanks, Phil and crew. You're very likely. Uh, likely? You're very, um, you're very um, grateful is the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to read and talk at the same time. Never a good thing. Vic says, hi, Phil. I've got several of your other courses. How different is this course to those? This course teaches you how to mix the way the best mobile wedding and event DJs do nowadays using the biggest songs in the world and using the radio versions of those songs. This course gives you 31 completely done for you mixes that you can take immediately, learn following our formula, using the cheat sheets we give you, we show you where to put the cue points, we show you where to put the loops, and we show you how to perform the mix with videos and with, as I say, sheets that you can download and keep and then put those immediately into your collection and then DJ straight away using those exact tunes. It is a done for you cookbook of mixes that because of the nature of mobile DJing, where the music really doesn't change very quickly, you can use these transitions tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, in five years time, they will still work and your audience will still react to the music. The music is everything over the last four or five decades that people dance to at mobile gigs. It couldn't be far rem further removed from a lot of the stuff we've done in the past, which is deliberately aimed at DJs who want to learn club music and club styles and so on. So if you're a mobile DJ that wants to learn this stuff or you wanna get into mobile DJing or you just wanna know how to mix confidently with the biggest tunes in the world and the radio versions and the Spotify versions, that's what this teaches. We've never taught this before in any of our courses. So in that respect, it's something totally new uh, and it completely complements what we have in the other courses. Now, of course, DJing is DJing, right? You've got to cue your music up. You've got to be able to count your beats. You've got to be able to set your beat grids. You've got to know what beat mixing is and cues and loops and so on. So look, in that respect, it's like our other courses. We're teaching you about DJing. But the music we use and the outcome is designed for mobile wedding and event DJs and people who want to DJ with the biggest songs ever made in the history of music, which is what's included. So it is different in that respect. Right, more questions, people. I'm loving this. It's really nice to, um, to be able to chat to you about this for the first time ever. Um, this, is from, uh, this is from The Ruckus, uh, who says, I have spent the last year literally attempting to expand my mobile DJ business. And for weddings, they window shop without even considering if the DJ can mix. Price only. Well, this depends how you sell yourself and where you are in the world. But I'll tell you one thing, as soon as you're in front of a crowd and you are doing stuff that they have not heard a wedding DJ or a mobile DJ or an event DJ do before, and they think this is how this kind of DJ should be done, they're playing all the music I love and they're actually making a good job of it and I'm staying on the dance floor. I guarantee you, you're gonna be asked for by name the next gig and then you can start naming your price and the DJs who cannot do this are the ones who are just price matched because hey let's face it a lot of the time mobile DJs today they're all the same as each other you've got to be different you've got to be better and one of the ways you can be better is learning to mix because a minority of mobile DJs are actually mixing with the music that is wanted a minority so this is your chance to get into that minority and believe me you get noticed once you do so this is from um, <laughs> Craig's just saying, I'm on my way to work, I can't chat much, but I'm really excited about this course. Yes, 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 he says, he goes on. I'm purchasing straight away, straight after work tonight. Don't worry, look, Craig, Craig, you've got a week. It's, uh, it's at this lower price for a week. But I guess if you buy it now, you've got it for the weekend, right? And you can start looking. Uh, switching between BPMs is a hard part. Uh, we've got nine lessons on how to switch between BPMs in this course. Um, Midnight Wolf says, I've been 
putting off buying a course, but I jumped the gun since this one is actually geared towards me. So thanks for that. And we know you're going to love it. Jeff says, as a mobile and wedding DJ, uh, I find the most difficult thing to do is getting the music from the playlist sent to me to also mix and to spin what other people want to listen to. The bride and groom are the most important. Well, here's the thing. The people who give you playlists to play, i.e. your clients, are going to give you mainstream music. They're going to give you music that is pretty much what you would expect most of the time. And if they're not, your job as a DJ is to talk to them about that because what often happens is a couple met at an EDM gig and so they give you a list and it's all the big EDM tunes from 19... 99 or 2008 or whatever age they are whatever you know big explosion of dance music was going on but you can't play a wedding playing the biggest trance records from the turn of the century or the biggest edm songs from 2012 and so your job as a dj is to talk through what they've asked for and almost like pass it almost like filter it through your dj knowledge and say look you want this but your parents are paying for the wedding is that what they want and your uncles and aunts and what about your grandparents and what about the kids who weren't even born when this set of trance classics or you know first wave edm was released what about them are we going to play some modern music for them i'll tell you what we should do tell me your five favorite songs out of this lot and tell me some songs you really don't want to hear because no one wants to hear you know, we've all been to gigs where we think, oh God, I hate weddings and I hate the fact they always play this. Give me a few you really don't want to hear and together we'll kind of craft a playlist. So I think part of the job of being a mobile DJ, and if you've been doing this for a long time, I'm sure you're nodding along now, is kind of like dealing with people who have got this image that they can get away with playing what they love and no one else for the whole night. Or, and here's the other big one, oh, just play stuff that will make them dance. And then you've got to kind of eke it out on them a bit more because there will be special tunes to those people and it's worth trying to find them out. The ones that they first danced to together, the ones that meant something to their parents who maybe aren't with them anymore or, you know, there's going to be special family tunes and special tunes that mean something to their relationship and tunes that were really big when they first went out clubbing that maybe they haven't told you, unlike the first kind of person who gave you a massive list of them, right? So you're either eking this stuff out of people or you're kind of tempering their expectations. But I agree with you. You've then got to learn to mix with that stuff. Um, and that's what you said. You know, the, diff the problem is trying to figure out how to mix with it once you've, uh, once you've got it. And again, that is one of the really big important things that this course covers. It shows you how to mix with that stuff. Uh, and the way it does that is by giving you the timeless mixing techniques that can, you can work with anything. You can literally mix anything into anything using those techniques. Um, Cool, I'm really loving this. I hope you are. Thank you for bearing with us on this because obviously normally Thursday Q&A Live is all about anything you want to ask us, but this is special. This is the biggest mixing course launch we've ever done at Digital DJ Tips, especially for mobile and wedding DJs. And because it's special, we want you to know all about it. And so for once, we're going we're gonna to dedicate this whole live to this new course and to talking about mixing as mobile and wedding DJs. Uh, lots and lots of you chatting away about money and about whether people want a good DJ or a good price, etc, etc. It's a great thing to talk about. Um, so do keep chatting in the comments about that. And thank you for doing so. Uh, this is from um, this is from George, who just says, Phil, Steve and the entire Digital DJ Tips crew. Thank you so much for everything you do for us. Oh, George, George, you're welcome. Um, and also says, I'm so glad this course is finally here. I've just purchased it and I can't wait to get started. Um, so thank you very much. Good to hear. Um, right, let's grab one or two more of your comments here and then I'm going to head off. And you see, it's not even on the website yet. The banner is, but I'm going to go and write the, uh, the intro little news piece that goes on the website and says, hey, this course is now live because we haven't even got around to doing that yet. That's how much we're rushing to get this ready. I'll also let you into a little secret. Only for my lessons, Steve is all organized, he's, he's, he's better than me. Only for my lessons, there's one or two of the little sheets that you download that give you all the cue points. They're not quite ready yet, uh, but uh, they will be. They'll be ready within a day or two. Just finishing them off now, but hey. Um, right. Um, watching Phil sell, says Nigel, is an education in itself. Hey, I always believe you're not selling, you're informing. You're telling people what you've got, and then they decide if they want to buy it or not. Um, and as long as you believe in it, Again, I don't believe it's selling. No one ever taught me to sell anything. Um, so uh, you don't like my music is saying, uh, oh, it's on Tidal, is it? Yes, we give you a whole Tidal list here. Um, and um, yes, 
you're talking about the, the ins and outs of downloading. You know, we give you the, all the music for this course as a Tidal list. Now you might not have Tidal, but the thing is you can get a month free anyway. And if you scout around the internet, you might find a two or three month free offer somewhere. So you can get Tidal free. Uh, and then just use it on your DJ gear. Any DJ gear, this is a Denon DJ setup. Um, it's got all the streaming services in it, but it also works on Serato. Um, so you just dial it in on your DJ software or whatever. Um, you can just dial it in and there it is right there. This is how we've actually been making this course. All the music for this course um, has been from streaming services. We haven't actually bought or used any of our own music. Um, but you're right, you know, if you're DJing and you're being paid for DJing, maybe you're gonna to wanna to, uh, not use streaming services as your main source of music, but they're very useful. So that's why we thought we'd give you a Tidal playlist for this course, just so that you can, hey, dial it in. Maybe you use Tidal anyway. It's a good one to use if you're a DJ um, and also just someone who wants a streaming service because you can use it both in DJing and in your day-to-day -day life. Um, so uh, Dennis says, in the weddings I play, I've not needed to do this type of mixing because people weren't demanding it. However, I've always wanted to do it with my favorite old music and none of the education I've done so far allows me to do this easily. So here's the thing, Dennis. No one, can, no one at a wedding says, I want you to be able to, to quick mix and to mix on the beat and I want you to be better at switching up genres and BPMs, please, DJ. I mean, that, that doesn't happen at weddings because people haven't got the vocabulary and they don't think about music like we do. They're not. They're not that involved in it up here. But they really notice when you do. And as Dennis says, you probably want to, don't you? And so it's one of those things that it's just polite nowadays to be able to do it. And you'll get noticed and it will make a difference. Uh, so um, let's just see if there's any more that we can grab here that we have kind of topics that we haven't covered so far. Um, and a lot of you are getting really technical here talking about this. Look, we get technical in the course. This isn't about kind of like trying to teach mixing now. Um, Lionel, this is a great one. This is, this is pretty classic, because I said there's kind of three types of people who will, who will be interested in this. The mobile DJs who know they need to learn this stuff because maybe their bookings are reducing. They can't charge as much as they used to. People don't seem as impressed at their set shows anymore. They kind of know they've got to learn this. The club DJs who want to switch to do mobile, who want to switch to do weddings because they're getting older, they can't stay out as late, they need some more money from their DJing. Uh, and a big chunk of our crowd, you hobby DJs who just want to know how to mix the biggest tunes in the world well. But this is the second type. Lionel says, I started as a club night DJ. Uh, however, people were asking me all the time to DJ their weddings. I took that challenge and wow, it was a challenge. And it was a learning curve. But after a few weddings, I've got the hang of it and it's been rewarding. So there you go. So this, you know, people switching from one to the other um, is something that's very usual. We see this an awful lot in our, in our community. As people get older, as we get older, you can't be playing clubs five nights a week unless you're a David Guetta. Uh, you're going to either stop DJing, hang up your headphones or move to play in the kind of gigs where you can make a bit of money, uh, etc. And that tends to be mobiles, weddings and so on. Uh, Day and Night DJ says, uh, if I buy this course, can I take it over and over? Or is it once and done. I've never done an online, uh, an online course, but I need to learn slowly. Okay, let me tell you about this. The way our courses work at Digital DJ Tips is you buy a course and we send you a login to your course. It is a set of videos and you learn by following them by module and in order within the modules. Each video will be a single lesson. It will teach you one thing. It will have supporting videos and downloads and descriptions and the ability to talk to your tutors, which in this case is myself or Steve Canueto who've taught this course, at any time that you want. You will also get a login to the Digital DJ Tips Student Hub Facebook group where there's a community of people across all of our courses who can help you with those general DJ stuff that might not be completely tied into the course that you've just bought. And you also get a monthly, totally optional, but fun live hangout with us where we go live in that, in that platform and just chat DJ for, for, like we're doing now, but with a small group of us for, for an hour or so every month. That's what you get. It is yours for life. Once you buy that login to that course, it is yours for life. You don't even have to start. You know, at the moment it's $100 off. You don't even have to start. You can just buy it and park it uh, and save your $100. Because if you bought it next week, it costs you $100 more. So hey, um, what happens is, 
you can come back whenever you want and log in and take that training. We're always there. This, we're into our 12th or 13th even year now. Um, and we're going to be here for as long as I can see into the future. We are here for the long term to help you. So whenever you come back to that course, we'll be there to help you, me and my team. But whenever we update the course, whenever we update our training platform or switch up the videos or add some new material, you will get that as well. We have tutors, uh, we're tutors, we have students who are on our courses that we made many, many years ago who are still getting updates and changes and so on. And more importantly, they're still getting help when they need it. So in answer to your question, uh, you can take as long as you want to learn. You can go back over the material again and again and again, and we're always there to help you. Plus, you're never on your own because you're always one click away from our community. There's thousands and thousands of students like you in the community and you get a free lifetime pass to that as soon as you join. So I hope that answers that question for you. Um, Richard is asking for tips on crate organization uh, when you are a wedding DJ. What I recommend you do Richard is go and look at our Tuesday Tips Live show from two days ago. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. It's in the live video section of our YouTube channel. There's a recording. It's also on our Facebook page on uh, facebook.com slash digital DJ tips. And in there, you will find me talking about the way to prepare your music for the kind of DJing we're talking about here. And in that, we talk about our concept of what we call mini sets. And mini sets is the way we teach in this course and the way we recommend because we see a lot of mobile DJs doing it that you organize your crates as a wedding DJ. So uh, well, you should have a little look at that, Richard, and that will help you. Um, so uh, hello, Lou. Lou says, Phil, I nearly missed you. Well, you have nearly missed me because I'm going now, Lou. Um, George says, that's one of the best parts of digital DJ tips. They never expire. They only get better. And yes, Phil, Steve, and the team are always there to assist you. Thank you very much um, for, for pointing that out as one of our students, George. Um, Scoundrel says, is there stuff about DJing with stems in the new course? No, because it's not on all gear yet. So that's something that, again, we're talking about upgrades, aren't we? We're talking about things we might add in the future. That's exactly the kind of thing that if it became mainstream, we would go back and we'd add some stem stuff in there and you wouldn't pay for that. Uh, so um, a lot of these lessons um, are also appropriate to bar DJing, to lounge DJing, and to other kinds of DJing, says George, another George. And you're quite right. You know, we've put this course out there for mobile wedding and event DJs because we haven't put a course out there for those DJs before. But look, if you want to DJ with the big tunes, the tunes everyone knows, then of course, if your job happens to be in a bar or a lounge, then this is totally relevant to you as well. So thank you for pointing that out, George. Uh, we, do, we do envisage that we're gonna get people buying this course who've never played a mobile gig in their life, but hey, you're the hardest working DJs in the world, mobile, wedding and event DJs, uh, and we wanted to make something for you, which is why we called it that. All uh, right, we're done here today, folks. I just wanna give you one more little look at what we are talking about. It's the Digital DJ Tips brand new course. It is called Mixing for mobile and wedding DJs. And it is our biggest mixing course to date, using the biggest tunes in the world and showing you how to mix them like the very best DJs. BPMs, word plays, quick mixes, creative beat mixes, and all that stuff. Head over to the Digital DJ Tips homepage, digitaldjtips.com. Scroll down, click on mixing for, medic, for mobile and wedding DJs, and you will go to this page here. The video you see there, which is only five minutes long, contains mix after mix after mix of exactly the kind of transitions you are going to learn and explains how the course works. And the page continues to explain that. It tells you how the course works, what you'll learn, who it's for. It answers your questions. It talks you through every single module of the course, which I've given you a sneak preview of here. It talks about the fact that there's a playlist with all the stuff tells you more about our school, answers some frequently asked questions, and then shows you what this training uh, is like for people who've already done it. So do come and take a look at that page. You can also get to this page by just simply going to djtips.co slash new. djtips.co slash new. I think we're done there. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, my team, and I'm gonna speak for them now because I'm sure they won't disagree with me, and me, we're absolutely exhausted. We have worked very, very, very hard over the last few weeks and months to get this to you, and it seems almost unreal that it's out there now. But do go and take a look at those pages, and if you're interested in it, and if you like what you see, then grab it within the next seven days before that price goes up. And of course, if you've got any questions about it, hey, you're watching a video here, ask underneath that video, and we will help you out with whatever your queries are. Listen, people, thank you for indulging me this week. 
week. Next week we will be back. Um, we'll probably stay on this kind of topic, uh, but we will be back to kind of like a more open uh, set of questions and let you ask whatever you want like we normally do. But I felt it was important to give some love to our mobile wedding and event DJs, the hardest working DJs in the land, uh, of course, uh, this week, uh, because of course we just launched this new course. Um, by the way, if you've been looking at this piece of kit, it's the new Denon DJ SC Live 4. We did a live stream earlier today about this, answering 10 reasons why, it was 10 things you need to consider if you're planning on buying this. We also have a full review of this over on the Digital DJ Tips website as well. So if you wanna go and take a look at that stuff, you will find that live right now uh, on digitaldjtips.com. Always serving you people, always serving you. Listen, thank you very much for being here. Now get good, get out there, make those mobile DJ moments uh, and go take a look at this course, djtips.co slash new. Till next time people, bye-bye.